Greetings YouTube, this is Joseph here once again. So first off I want to say thank you for 80 subscribers, that is a huge milestone. We are a little bit over uh, halfway to reaching 100 subscribers. If I can hit 100 subscribers within the next three months I will be blown away. I cannot believe that I've already got as many subscribers as I do. Especially when the content I'm making is basically just stuff that I enjoy doing and it's basically just a hobby. But uh, currently working on a new type of video. It's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, I hope you guys will like it. It's uh, another uh, gaming video. But uh, while I'm here, I might as well let you know that it's getting to that time of the week again. Temperatures are starting to get higher up in the uh, categories. Humidity is getting higher, among other things. And that means that it's going to be time for another round of severe thunderstorms. So. Uh, they have basically the whole state of Oklahoma and the whole state of Arkansas under hazardous weather outlook. <clears throat> and uh, they're saying that some of these storms could put out close to golf ball size hail when it starts to develop. But uh, let's go on and take a look at what National Weather Service is actually saying on the spreadsheet for hazardous weather outlook and read what they're saying on my uh, local website. So here we go. So my disk drive is currently putting together uh, the video, so that's why you're hearing that noise. But anyway, so this outlook is for northwest and west central Arkansas as well as eastern Oklahoma. Day one, tonight, severe thunderstorm, risk limited. Eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas, onset after midnight, heavy rain and flash flooding, limited risk. Northeastern Oklahoma is the primary area. Significant winds will be for both Oklahoma and western Arkansas. Fire weather danger is elevated. So that's for both areas. Okay, so here's the discussion. Near critical grassland fire spread rates will continue through late this afternoon across parts of eastern Oklahoma and far northwest Arkansas as a southerly winds gust as high as 35 miles an hour. And relative humidity values continue in the 25 to 35 percent range. Conditions will improve during the evening hours as when speeds begin to diminish and humidities increase. Unfortunately, with humidity increase, that means that there's a higher chance for thunderstorms. Late this evening and into early tomorrow morning, showers and thunderstorms will have developed the late in the afternoon uh, across portions of the Texas Panhandle and will continue to move into parts of eastern Oklahoma and eventually western Arkansas. Most of the isolated to scattered thunderstorm activity will be below severe limits, but there is a limited threat of hail to the size of golf balls with the strongest systems. Locally, heavy rainfall may also occur, especially across eastern Oklahoma. So, spotter and emergency management action statement. Local spotter activation may be needed. So, that means I'm going to have to be ready to make YouTube videos and other stuff to keep everyone informed in my area. Okay, so day two, days two through seven, Thursday through Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, thunderstorm potential, Saturday, thunderstorm potential. Wow, almost the whole week is thunderstorm potential, and that's an out-of-area call, so I'll just mute it. <clears throat> Widespread showers and thunderstorms should be ongoing across parts of western, eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas. Thursday morning, additional thunderstorm developments will be possible. Thursday afternoon as a frontal boundary moves through the region with these thunderstorms posing as a limited threat for severe weather, especially across southeastern Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas. Large hail and damaging winds looked to be the main severe threats. However, dry conditions should arrive early into, Tuesday, into Thursday morning or evening. So additional information. Additional thunderstorm chances will return late Friday night and persist through the weekend as another low pressure system is forecast to move through the plains. So it's uh, safe to say that there's a chance that there may be some severe weather uh, coming through in the next few days, but uh, I'll just have to keep an eye on it. And if things get crazy, then uh, you'll start seeing either live streams or video uploads of my mid ones. So. That's just a quick update, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. See ya.